Hey guys, Dennis back with a brand new video. So today I'm gonna show you how to charge a lead acid battery. Now this battery is from my camper. I left this out last winter and it was almost completely drained. So we're gonna check it first with a meter so I can show you what the voltage is and then we'll get the charger hooked up. All right, so we're reading about 11.84 volts. All right, now one thing you wanna be careful of when you're charging a battery indoors is batteries tend to gas off hydrogen when it's being charged. The plates cause the liquid in each of the cells to bubble up and when those bubbles come to the top, they emit that hydrogen gas. And hydrogen, if you don't know, is extremely explosive. So you just wanna make sure you have no open flames or any kind of sparks or anything around the battery when you're charging it. All right, now, before you go to charge your battery, you wanna pop these vent caps off here and look at your water level inside. Now, if it's low, which means if you can see the lead plates inside of each of these holes here, each one of these is a cell. If you can see those the tops of the lead plates in there, you need to top it off with distilled water or deionized water. They're basically the same thing. Don't put regular tap water in here because you will damage your battery. So these particular cells, this middle one is actually kind of high, but the water is covering all of the other cells. So we're gonna check this one now. All right, so let's check this one now also. And be very careful, make sure you're wearing safety glasses because there is sulfuric acid inside of here and you don't wanna get that in your eyes. Like if you get it on your skin, it's not gonna burn right away, but you definitely wanna neutralize it with like some baking soda and water. So I can see the top of that plate. That means I need to add some deionized water on this very first cell. And that's most likely my issue with this battery. All right, now this is what you wanna use for topping off your battery. So it has to say distilled water. So there's no minerals in distilled water. And this is what you wanna use. Otherwise you're gonna damage your battery if you try to charge with tap water. You just wanna make sure you don't overfill this. You just want it to the bottom of the little plastic. If you have it a little too high, chances are when you charge it, it's going to bubble out and make a mess. And you don't want battery acid leaking all over your car or your boat or you know wherever the battery is that you're working on. So the water's just touching the bottom of those and that's what you want. So we're gonna put our covers back on. Now, these little guys right here are vents, so you don't have to take the caps off. All right, now there's a bunch of different chargers out there. I'm gonna be using this Everstart Max 3 amp, six and 12 volt charger. So we're just gonna set it for 12 volts and we're gonna hook it to the battery and let it do its thing. Now there's other brands out there. There's Schumacher. Um, there's some newer brands that have like microprocessor controls in, in the chargers. And yeah, you know, they're probably a little more efficient than this one and give you a little more detailed information as to when the battery is gonna finish. And this one does not. This one just lets you know when the battery is charged. So it does sense the voltage of the battery. This also gives you a swapped polarity indication on here. So if I were to hook my negative lead to the positive and my positive to the negative, you would see, hey, your polarity swapped. So swap it back. Make sure your leads are on the correct terminals. Now, this particular charger, when it's blinking, that means that it's charging. When it's solid, that means that it is totally full. So we're gonna leave this on here, and that's all there is to it. All right, so after this goes solid, we know the battery is charged. We'll check our voltage with our multimeter again, and we should be good to go to put this back in a camper, and we're ready for camping season. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for this video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed, why not? Why aren't you? You can always leave if you want, but it helps me out. Helps me make all these videos for you guys. But until next time, uh, drop a comment down below if you have anything else you want me to review or make a video about.